Nasema hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza wataingia katika historia ya nchi hii kwamba the most <laughs> obnoxious type of administration. Hey, you can do those things. You can. If you believe in the rule of law, you cannot. Therefore the matter of independence of our judiciary is not negotiable. Cannot even in fact I want to say we put a stop to this thing. Kama executive anataka kuendelea kupiga kelele waendelee but let the judicial arm of government continue working as chief justice mother come alisema jana kama kuna mtu mwenye shida ukikosoa hapa ukikosoa mbona wanakuumu zito azio hiyo wazindwe kwa nia kideka weni mahakama unaenda appeal unaenda appeal the matter is these taxes are unconstitutional ningekuwa na uwezo leo leo ningetoa hiyo executive order kusema mwenye <laughs> Kenyans wote ambao wako na payslip na wanaolipa an illegal tax ambayo inaitwa housing tax executive order ya kwanza ipotee kabisa ni moyo wangu ndio Uh, if they will not have done away with it because it, as it is it is unconstitutional and we don't want to beat about the bush kuonyesha wazi tulianza kwa kusema mwakani eh mapema dio best tulisema hivi ati mapema eh kujipanga hakuna hatutapangangwa tena wewe unasema muda tutapanga atupangwiki safari hii si namna hiyo sisi ndio tunawapanga na tumeanza kwa heshima ya ndugu yetu Joshua Kitivi. Kwa hivyo mimi sina mengi na, na senator Maanzo. These things are very clear. Jana tulisema mi mwenyewe nilienda kama senior council nikashirikiana na wengine wachanga na wengine middle level practitioners tukawa na president wa LSL Law Society of Kenya bwana Theory kuna vijana wamejitokeza kulinda heshima na kulinda uhuru wa mahakama yetu because we cannot play with that arm of government mahakama wote mawakili hawa ma magistrate wanawasikia majaji wanaoona kila mahali na maofisa wote wa idara hiyo ya mahakama vile professor kibwana alisema jana wa Afrika mezoea kiti ya mawatatu hukumwe ni legislature hao heshimiwa hao hukula kuongea executive hata ingewaje walichukua kwa njia ambao walichukua ni sawa wako pale mguu mwingine na mguu wa tatu ni idara ya mahakama ndio unasikia chief justice wa Kenya anaitwa president of the supreme court eh president huyu mama kome ni president and truly under constitution 2010 ambayo imetupa uhuru wa ajab kama sio hiyo hata hii mazishi ya kitivi wa pengine wangejaribu kuharibu wangejaribu hao ana haibu uliona wakipiga keki ya ya, ya, ya birthday wanapiga tear gas eh hey, wanapiga keki ya baba baba mwenyewe hata hakuwa kule waona kendukia mudhembozi Mama moja alikuwa analia pale anasema eh hey, keki jameni tupatieni keki. <laughs> Iliende kapatikana lakini imezambaritika. Imepigwa tear gas. Na lawyers. You know guys yeah the judges. Was it yesterday? You know we have a constitution. And it is very important to respect the constitution we have three arms of government legislature eh? executive and judiciary and those arms of government must respect each other for kenya to work in peace mwashua ruto your office will be respected because you are the president of Kenya judiciary should be respected
because he's a president of judiciary. Tunaelewana? Parliament should be respected. Now, if we all work together in harmony, this country will go far. We have Bishop Kivuva. Who tells us? Akikutana na sisi kama umini wa katholiki. Anatuamianga, monkey see, monkey do. Now, if we, monkey see, monkey do. Ngole si wana, ngole ike kata. Now, kama mimi, governor wa Machakos, nianze kufunja sheria. Nitaambia watu wa Machakos wafata sheria aje. Mutafata sheria? Mutaniambia mama ni monkey see, monkey see. Gole kona, gole keka. We must just respect each other. Tufanya kazi pamoja. Wewe ukitoa yako, watu wanasikiza. Pale amendi kitoa yao, watu wanasikiza. Judiciary kitoa yao, watu wanafanya nini? Kwa sababu, those institutions are not here by mistake. Mungu alipanga. Na serikali za mungu, serikali ni tatu. Serikali ya kwanza ni ile ya mungu ile kubwa sana. Tunaelewana? Serikali ya pili ni familia. Tunaelewana? Serikali ya pili ni nini? Familia. Serikali ya tatu ni serikali ya inchi. Na hizo vitu tatu lazima ziashimiwa. Na zikiwa kama ya inchi hata kwa familia kuna mama na baba. Na kuna na kuna watoto. Hii iko na legislature, judiciary and executive. Watu wakishemi wakiheshimiana kwa nyumba wataishi na nini? Na amani. Kwa hivyo tafadhali hii inchi ni yetu tunaipenda. Tukae vizuri, tukae vizuri na majirani wetu. Ndio Kenya iweze kuendelea na biashara zetu ziweze kuinuka. Ushida kutukisimbana na Zakayo, hii muti amepanda lazima tuikate. Tuko pamoja. Kwa sababu tukizindikisha ndugu yetu hapa. Amesimama imara kwa amani na kutetea haki ya wakenya. Na vile tunaongea saa hii nimeona Zakayo badala ya kushuka kutoka kwa muti afike chini aongee na wananchi ya kawaida ameshuka kwa muti akaingia kwa gari anaanda kuhalilia kila mahali oh mahakama kuna ufisadi sio mahakama ndio ilikuweka kwa hivyo uliwekwa kiufisadi si utoke tunambebeleza nini unajua sakaya wako na shida mingi sana Akiku, akilala kazi yake ni kutoa wakenya ushuru saa hii ameongeza ushuru wa uh, NHIF by 16.5%. Sakayo nataka kukuambia hivi. Kenyans are tired of your taxation ideology. And we are not going to allow you to continue taxing Kenyans. Na najua kwa nini unagemea mahakama. Kwa sababu mahakama imesema ile ushuru unatoa wa Kenya nyumba it is unconstitutional. And I want to challenge the judiciary. I want to see the judge who will go against that lure. Atatuambia kwa Kenya gani? Wacha unajishwa na Zakayo si ndio tutakutisha zaidi. Kwa sababu the court made a ruling house levy is unconstitutional. Tunangojea ile maneno mnataka kufanya mtufanye nini but housing levy is unconstitutional wacha kuambia wa Kenya housing hiyo mpango yako ya housing is unstoppable it is already dead on arrival sasa mwalimu wako hapa changala anakatwa pesa ya nyumba itengwe wapi na ako na nyumba chifu wako hapa changala anakatwa pesa na serikali ya kujenga nyumba ataingia hiyo nyumba mwaka gani na anaelekea kuritaya tupeleke mahali tunapeleka kidini sakaa wacha ubuzi bana hii Kenya si yako
hii Kenya si yako hii Kenya ni asisi wote na mimi nasema enough is enough of sakayo taxation regime packing your things tuweke taya gari ipite na na maneno ya Kalonzo Musyoka atuwezi simamia katikati tutatoka tuende mpaka ikulu tuokoe Kenya kwa sababu mwokozi wa nchi hii ni mheshimiwa Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka na hatubembelezani na mtu na yule anafikiria iko mchezo ingini i want to announce it officially Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka will be on the ballot 2027 upende usipende.